Hi there and welcome to our next video on the history of the atom. In this video we're going to be looking at how the atom has evolved over time and how we see it from the first person to the last person who figured it out. So starting with John Dalton in 1803 he figured out that there were these uh, spherical balls in the atmosphere which are all identical and each of these balls are atoms. So that's all we know at the moment. But then we have J.J. Thompson in 1887. He found the plume pudding model. Plume pudding model. So we have this ball of positive charge and we have the negative electrons scattered around. So this over here is the ball of positive charge and we have these negative electrons surrounding it. Next up, we have Rutherford in 1909, who discovered that the electrons weren't in the center. They were just scattered around and in the center was a nucleus. So this is the nuclear model. So around it, the atom was mainly empty space and all the mass was concealed in the nucleus, which is in the center of the atom. So he discovered that most of the atom was empty space. Rutherford also did the alpha scattering experiment. So over here, we have the source of the particles and when he directed them, when he hid them to a thin gold foil, he noticed that most of the particles are undeflected and some are scattered and some just rebound off it. So he noticed that the particles are just moving off each other. They're coming in different directions. So this is when he noticed that they weren't the same. This is where Niels Bohr comes in in 1913 so he knew that the electrons orbit the nucleus and he figured out that the shells are there the electron shells and these electrons are on those electron shells and they're orbiting the nucleus so we have this positively charged nucleus in the center of the atom and this nucleus contains protons and around the nucleus are these shells um, energy levels which are holding the electrons and are orbiting the nucleus and then finally James Chadwick in 1932 um, discovered that the electrons which are going around in um, electron shells they're orbiting the nucleus which holds the neutron and the proton so this took ages to discover because neutrons they are neutral they don't have a charge so it was really hard to figure them out they don't add any mass to the atom they have a mass of zero they are completely neutral so now we have this atom this atom which has a nucleus in the center of it containing the protons and the neutrons and we have these electron shells orbiting the nucleus with electrons on them and that is how the atom has evolved from the time period 9, uh, 1803 to 1932 in the description box below, there's a link to a quiz which you can have a go at. In our next video, we're going to be having a look at some exam questions to do with the history of the atom. But for now, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And one last thing, please subscribe and hit the like button.